one is the merge mine this is hierarchical set of chains the other piece is uh, cross-chain transactions and it's actually the first manifestation of a truly decentralized and trustless bridging I don't like to call it bridging, but it's but it's if you want to think of it that way, uh, it's the first time anyone's created a trustless bridge between two proof of work blockchains, uh, which is pretty cool. So the thing that complicates it, there's a VM tied to it. If it was just UTXOs, mm -hmm. we've been done by now. <laughs> yeah. Um, but creating uh, composable interoperability with a VM makes it a little bit trickier because you effectively have to have modification of op codes which can generate external state transitions mm -hmm. and then you have to be able to sort of package those transitions correctly and get them to their destination and when i say get them to their destination right like part of the trustless nature of this is they propagate instantaneously but they only become canonical in the destination once a um hash linked reference is created via a coincident block at mm -hmm. the destination and that's why it's trustless because the process of doing block production in the chain is the same process which creates the hash linked reference so there's no watchers there's no oracles or assertion of validity in one context or another and if there is a rollback everything rolls back atomically and consistently so if you know, a transition happened in zone that's referenced by prime and prime gets rolled back, that zone will also get rolled back. So that sort of guarantees in this asynchronous system that uh, transactions only happen once going forward and they get reverted once going backwards if they go backwards. Uh, but that keeps the system, um, I don't know if atomic is the right word, maybe eventually atomic, but, but that's, that's basically what allows us to keep state consistent.